Welcome to my tutorial video for the annual and monthly budget for Google Sheets. To get started, I recommend reading the easy-to-follow instructions that will guide you through the workbook. At the top of this tab, you'll find a direct link to my website, where I share further resources, helpful guides, and links to my other spreadsheet tools. If you need assistance at any time, simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click the a Contact Us button. This will connect you directly with me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to help answer any questions. Here, you can see a note that states not to edit colored cells. One quick note as you begin, some cells in this spreadsheet are colored to indicate they contain formulas or important information that should not be changed. These cells are protected, and if you attempt to edit them, a warning message will pop up to remind you not to modify the content. This design ensures that the calculations stay accurate and saves you from having to re-enter data in case of accidental edits. Now, let's explore the different sections of this workbook. The annual and monthly budget spreadsheet is organized into 17 key tabs that help you manage all areas of your finances. These tabs include 1. The Dashboard Here you can see an overview of your year. All the information you have entered is summarized on this tab. 2. The 12 monthly tabs are where you budget, enter your projected budget, and enter your actual transactions in the transaction tracker table. 3. The bills calendar is where you can see due dates for all your regular bills and get reminders. 4. The debt snowball calculator, which helps you understand how quickly you can pay down debts and stay motivated as you progress. 5. The Savings Planner, which allows you to allocate funds towards specific goals, and finally. 6. The Subscription Tracker, which keeps you on top of recurring payments and tracks your total monthly and annual subscription costs. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Jan tab. The Jan tab is used to set up your spreadsheet. Even if you start using the spreadsheet on another month, use the Jan tab for your setup. Enter the year you wish to plan for. Then, select your country from a drop-down list, which will update the currency symbols throughout the spreadsheet. If your country is not there, contact me and I will add it for you. Remember, it's important not to modify colored cells here, as they contain formulas essential to the calculations. If you accidentally make changes to one of these cells, simply hit Cancel to restore it to its original state. Next, enter your rollover in the cash flow summary table. This is the total amount you have in your bank accounts and any cash at hand at the beginning of the budgeting period. If it's your first time using the spreadsheet, you'll find the same amount in both the projected and actual columns. If you start on another month that is not January, you will need to enter your rollover in the Jan tab. For future months, the rollover will be automatically calculated based on the information you enter in the tables. Then, move on to inputting all of the income and expense categories. The spreadsheet includes many default categories, but you're encouraged to personalize these to suit your specific needs. The income categories will need to be entered every month due to income often varying from one month to the next. After entering them in the Jan tab, the expenses, bills, debt and savings categories will be automatically populated every month. If you need to make modifications to the categories in the future, you will need to change them in the Jan tab. You have space for 16 income categories and an unlimited number of expense categories, covering everything from essentials to discretionary spending. In order to get the most out of the savings tracker, try to keep your savings categories within 16, as this is the limit to the number of spaces. Once you've set up your categories, it's time to start budgeting. Begin by filling out the projected columns, which provide an estimate of your income and expenses for the month you are budgeting for. This preliminary budget will help you visualize your financial goals and give you an overview of how much flexibility you have. As you enter projected income, include details like the date and expected amount. For expenses, enter estimates in each category, keeping an eye on the cash flow summary to ensure you're within budget. If the remaining balance is negative, consider adjusting non-essential expenses to prevent overspending. Completing the projected section will give you a realistic view of your expected finances. 
If some or all of your projected entries will remain the same for the next month or months, I recommend copying and pasting the information to save time. Now, shift your focus to entering actual data. This detailed data entry will give you a true picture of your spending versus your planned budget. In the income summary table, input the exact amounts that you have received during the period. These may be paycheck deposits, freelance earnings, or cash received. Scroll to the right to locate the transaction tracker table, where you can record each transaction for the period. For every transaction, include the date, amount, and category. Select the appropriate category from a drop-down list that includes expenses, bills, debts, and savings. Add descriptions for more detail, such as store names or transaction types, which can be useful for later reference. Each entry will automatically populate the actual columns on the budget dashboard, where you can then see where your money actually went. The, the expense breakdown pie chart on the right visualizes spending, helping you spot any overspending trends. Now that you have entered your transactions, you get to see where your money is actually going and see if your predictions were correct. Go back to the cash flow summary to view where your money went and how much you have remaining. You can also compare your predictions to your actual transactions and see if you should adjust your budget for the next month. Located at the right is the savings tracker table. The accounts are automatically transferred from the table directly below. As I mentioned earlier, there is room for 16 accounts. When you first get started, the previous column is where you enter the amounts you have saved up to date. At the end of the period, you can adjust the amounts in these accounts using the interest plus or minus column. The currently column automatically adds any amount you have added in the transaction tracker. It should reflect the actual amount you have accumulated in your bank accounts and investment portfolios. You can see the total you have saved at the top of this table. If you want to transfer money from your savings and use it for expenses, enter the amount as a negative under the savings category. This will increase the money you have available without affecting your income entries. I designed this budget with simplicity in mind, so I chose not to include an account tracker to keep it as straightforward as possible. If you are using your credit card like a bank account you can enter the transactions as expenses and bills. The money that you are transferring to your credit cards to use for those expenses slash bills does not need to be entered in the spreadsheet. If you are making extra payments to your credit card that are more than your monthly expenses, then enter that difference under debt. To update the bills calendar, in the bills and debt sections, enter the day due. This should be only the day and number and not an actual date. Click the checkbox to add it to the calendar. Now that you have added all the days due and checked the boxes, go to the bills calendar tab. In the Bills Calendar tab, you can see all your bills and when they are due. Select the month you wish to view. The year is automatically updated with the year you have entered in cell D6 of the Jan tab. You can check the boxes off as you pay your bills this way you know what was paid for and what still needs to be paid. If you wish to reset and empty all the checkboxes at once, press Ctrl and A simultaneously to select all. Then, press the spacebar twice. If you wish to print this calendar, go to the File menu, then select Print. In the menu located at the right, choose Landscape and under Scale, Fit to Page. As the months progress and you enter more information, it can be a good idea to go to the Dashboard tab to view your finances and make sure that you are on track. In this tab, there is an annual cash flow summary table where you can see your abridged financial situation for the year. At the end of the year, the remaining that you see here is what will be input as the rollover when you start the next year. At the top, the charts show you where your money is going from month to month. This is detailed in the tables below. Scroll down to find your spending breakdown for the year. In the table and chart at the left, your spending is sorted from largest to smallest. This is a great way to see where your money is going. Go to the Debt Snowball tab. The Debt Snowball Calculator is a tool that helps you plan and visualize your debt repayment using the Debt Snowball method. This calculator organizes your debts from smallest to largest and shows you the order in which to pay them off, along with a projected timeline. 
To get started, for the starting date, choose today or a past date. The spreadsheet will not work properly if you enter a future date as it calculates the payments you need to make in the present. Enter all the required information in the debt information table. You will need to enter a name for all of your debts, the balance, annual interest, and minimum payment. The day due will only serve as a reminder and is not relevant to the calculations. If your interest is 0%, enter it as 0.00001, that is four zeros before the one. The spreadsheet automatically sorts your debts in the debt summary. The last column at the right, payment this month, lets you see the payments you will need to make this month. At the top, you can view your total monthly payments to find out if you have any room in your budget to add an extra amount to pay off your debt faster. If you do, enter this amount in additional monthly contribution in cell F11. This amount will be put towards your smallest debt first. Here, you can see how many months are left to pay down your debt. It's a good visualization tool when trying different scenarios. At the right of the spreadsheet, you can view the detailed payment schedule, a breakdown of payments, showing how much you need to pay monthly and the balance today. As the months go by, the amounts will be crossed off and the payment this month will be automatically adjusted. If you have an amount you would like to add to certain months, enter it under the amount plus or minus AH column. This amount will go directly to the smallest debt first. With this calculator, you can adjust extra payments, explore different payoff scenarios, and stay motivated by seeing your debt-free date get closer with each payment. Now, go to the Savings Planner tab. The Savings Planner spreadsheet is a dedicated tool for setting and tracking multiple savings goals, such as building an emergency fund, saving for a vacation, or planning for a large purchase. You can define your target amounts for each goal, and the spreadsheet automatically calculates how much has been saved so far and how much remains. With options to log contributions, you can see your progress and estimated completion date for each goal, helping you stay organized and motivated. Start entering all the things that you wish to save for. Enter the name, start date, goal date, and savings goal. In the tables at the bottom, enter the dates when you would like to make contributions. Then, enter the contributions you would like to make for those dates. If you would like to make equal contributions, use the months left cell to determine the number of payments you need to make and use the recommended contribution in line 35 as an equal payment for the remaining months. When a payment is made, click the checkbox in the table at the bottom and the amount of that contribution will be added to saved so far. It will also update the remaining and percentage saved cells. The savings planner provides a clear visual of their progress, making it easier to manage and achieve financial goals over time. Go to the Subscriptions tab. The Subscription Tracker Spreadsheet is a practical tool designed to help you manage and monitor all your subscriptions in one place. With it, you can easily list each subscription, track monthly or annual costs, and see when upcoming renewals are due. The spreadsheet automatically calculates your total spending on subscriptions, giving you a clear overview of your regular expenses. You can change the categories as needed here. For every subscription you have, enter the description, the category it should fall in, and the amount. When you enter the billing cycle, the spreadsheet will automatically convert the contribution into a monthly amount. Enter the due date and renewal date for future reference. By using this tool, you can quickly identify subscriptions you may no longer need, avoid unexpected renewals, and keep your budget on track, making it easier to manage your finances with confidence. Thank you for joining me, I hope that you enjoy using my spreadsheet. Contact me if you have any questions regarding this video and the budget by paycheck.